Okay, so um, uh, we are going to have a very brief Octave uh, demonstration. Uh, if you have installed your Octave, then if you go to your, your desktop, you see the, the graphic user interface, GNU Octave there. You double click and you open your Octave. Sometimes it comes in a default setting. Other times it comes with some of the other pilots missing. So all you have to do is you go to your Windows here, and then in Windows, just select Reset Default Window Layout. Once you do that, everything will come back to a default window layout. Okay. So once you have uh, Octave opened, then the next thing is you need to set path to the folder where you have your Octave, your document, your folder, your files that you want to use. If you want to set your path, you go to edit and then you choose set path. Once you go to set path, you come to add folder. Here you choose folder with subfolders. If you choose folder with subfolders, in my case, I have my I have the, my folder that I'm running my Octave files for <coughs> in documents. So I go to documents and then I go and search for 407 and then MATLAB tutor where my folders or my Octave folder or uh, documents are. Then I select, once I select that folder, I save it. After I finish saving, then I close my, I close the set path environment. Now in the file browser, what I want to do is I want to see the files, all the files, or all the files in that folder. So in the set, uh, in the file browser on the left, I also go searching for that file, the, the folder that contains the file. And again, I go to documents, I search for um, my 407, and then here I see MATLAB tutor. I select it again, and then I see all the files that I'm working with in that folder now. So uh, in this case, I want to run the Lorenz equation. So the Lorenz equation, I can see that Lorenz equation file in my folder here on the left in the file browser. If I double click it, it is, it is open immediately in uh, the editor. So you can see that in the editor, I have, um, I have the, the information about what I'm trying to solve here. And this is exactly the Lorentz equation or the Lorentz function that I'm trying to solve. But you see that uh, if we go to line if you go to line 13, for instance, you see immediately that I have the Lorenzo uh, function here. So if I come to the left, this Lorenzo function is also, uh, you can see it also on the left side. If you double click, it opens up in this manner. So now you see that the Lorenzo function has some parameters, which I define here as sigma is 10, beta is eight over three, rho is 28. Then there's a time and initial values for the, for the function. The time is from zero to 20. And then the initial values, because we have three equations, three, uh, three, um, three variables, state variables, this is x, y, z. Now I set initial values also for five, five, five for each of them. So for x, for y, and then for Z. So this is X naught, Y naught, and Z naught, okay? Then in the next step, what I do is now I call the Lorenzo function using ODE 23. Of course, there are other ODE solvers also in the, in the Octave environment, like Octave or like ODE 45 and stuff like that. You can also try them. So I call the ODE 23. Then I call here, I give it the, the time span that I'm working on 
then I give the initial conditions here, initial values, then the parameters that I've already defined uh, in line seven, I put them, I state them here as well. And then with that, I start plotting my solution. So uh, if you use a function like subplot, it gives you several plots in one whole, one figure. So this is a subplot two, two, which means that I want two by two uh, pictures or email a plot within one figure. So for the first plot, okay, if you think of it as a matrix, then this is uh, row one, column one. Then you, I'm plotting my X against Y, and I'm using the color blue, and then the line dash dash, uh, this line uh, type here, okay? And then I give you the title of that, of that subplot is fluid motion against horizontal temperature, all right? Then in the next subplot, which is the, you can call it a rule one, column two, is the plot X against Z. Here I'm using the red uh, color line as well. And this is the fluid motion against vertical temperature. And then in the third subplot, what I'm doing is that I'm plotting Y against Z, which is the horizontal temperature against the vertical temperature. So this is the title I give to it. And then this is the plot, the command for plotting this as well. And then in the final plot, I'm plotting a 3D, uh, a 3D phase plane of the Lorentz equation with the X, Y, and Z all together. And this is, I'm using the color red. And then I give the X label, the Y label, and then the Z label. I label the axis as well. And then I put the grid on so that it is, it is graded. Once I'm done, if I click here, uh, once you have this, of course, the, the most important one that you have to consider is this function here, the Lorenzo function, okay? So the Lorenzo function, I've created another file, which is the Lorenzo function. And then this Lorenzo function really contains the Lorenz differential equations. These are three systems of equation and then some parameters, real value. And then you write it as yp is equal to sigma. This is for the first uh, dx dt, which is written out like that, semicolon. Then you write dy dt in the second one and then the, the z dt as well. And then, and so this is the Lorenzo. The function, the Lorentz function, which I call the Lorenzo function. So once you are done and you have called it here, you can already run. Okay, you can run it. Just click on the run, and then you see your plots uh, being displayed on your screen. You already see your plots on the screen. So on the plots, you see that you have exactly the fluid motion against horizontal temperature fluid motion against the vertical temperature, horizontal temperature against the vertical temperature, and then the 3D phase plane of the Lorentz equation. So this is really how you can run it. Of course, the other way to run it is to go to your command window, and then on the command window, on the command window, if I, if I clear everything from the command window, then all I have to type is the name of the file here. So this is the Lorentz equation. This is the name of that file. So if I'm in the command window, I type Lorentz EQM equation. If I type it also like this and I click run, I get exactly the same result as I did get when I just did a run and continue. So this is really how you can uh, run a simple example of uh, a function or uh, a script uh, which contain, which is uh, has a function in all these uh, in this environment in Octave. Okay.